All right, we're going to talk about what God is doing with the food to President Trump and what he's doing with the food worldwide. And how this is biblical. There's certain things that I only eat and drink, okay? And I'm I'm led by the Holy Spirit on what I eat and drink. I'm led by the Holy Spirit on what foods I buy for my family. I'm led by the Holy Spirit on that. And I just want you to know that the Holy Spirit is leading us now, many of us, on what we put in our bodies, okay? Uh, many of you are hearing from the Holy Spirit on uh, how to cleanse, how to detox, okay? The Holy Spirit actually led me on a detox for myself and my daughter and healed all of our autoimmune issues. And um, a lot of other things that we're being healed of. And I was like, okay, Lord, I want to share this with everybody. And the Lord said, write down my 21-day fast and detox and the foods that we should be eating and the foods that we should be avoiding. And uh, because our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in us. We don't belong to ourselves. We belong to God through the Holy Spirit who lives within us. And we've got to stop putting these poisons and toxins in our bodies. We've got to stop putting these poisons and toxins in our children. But what if we didn't know some of our regular foods that we eat every single day are toxic? Well, the Lord is exposing it. And he's exposing it through President Donald J. Trump. I remember when I was really, really sick and my daughter was really, really sick and I just kept going to the Lord and saying, Lord, heal me, heal me, heal my daughter, heal me, heal my daughter. And one night I heard the Lord and he said, Anna Marie, I don't want to live in a toxic body. I was like, what? <laughs> and he began to reveal to me that my body was toxic and that's what was causing my sickness and my daughter's sickness. And it was from eating the wrong foods. It was from pharmaceuticals. It was from jabs and vaccines. It was from beauty products and all kinds of other things we had been using over the years that accumulated in our bodies and overwhelmed our bodies and our liver and our cells. So our bodies became so toxic that we began to have autoimmune issues, autoimmune diseases, and even raised anxiety trouble sleeping, and even ADHD symptoms. And I'm like, okay, Lord, what do I do? And he began to download to me the things to stop eating, the things to eat, certain prayers to pray, mm -hmm. and how to detox my body and detox my daughter's body. At the time, she was 19, 18, 19. Now she's 22. And we both feel so much better. And we don't eat hardly any of these commercial foods anymore. And how do the people come to know these things? I've been out there telling y'all, okay? Now, President Trump is telling you. Now, when I first saw President Trump's press conference the other day, that he had in his um, place in New Jersey, all right? And he brought out all of these different foods. And I said, okay, I know that almost every single one of the foods that he has on these, table, on the, these tables are foods that we shouldn't eat anymore because they have toxins in them that I don't buy anymore, that I don't eat anymore, that my I don't want to feed my family anymore. and President Trump said he was having that press conference because he was trying to show inflation. He was trying to show what the Biden, you know, Democratic administration, which we know is fake, um, has done with the, the prices, okay? We know that the prices have gone way, way, way up, right? We also know that the products themselves have gotten smaller, you know? So not only have the prices gone way up, but the products themselves have gotten smaller, right? 
We know that most of the products that he showed on the, the table uh, have been our compromised corporations. They're either controlled by China or Bill Gates, right? All right, or they're controlled by even worse, Big Pharma. And many of these food companies are controlled by China, Bill Gates, or Big Pharma. Most of these foods are not very healthy. They have toxins in them, particularly the coffee. We know the coffee is filled with mold and mitotoxins and, uh, you know, all kinds of pesticides. We know that the cereals, they, we know that Cheerios especially has uh, tested very, very high for pesticides. Uh, we know that Smithfield Foods, like if you're just looking at some of the things that he has on the table, Smithfield Foods, they're right here in Virginia. They were, they are, they're owned by China. Um, I see some Heinz products there. We know that uh, the Heinz family is directly connected with some very corrupt Democrats. Um, so I'm like, okay, President Trump is speaking a lot of things here. Okay. He he's just not talking about inflation. He's just not talking about the price of groceries and the price of food. He's he's speaking even greater. We got to totally read be, between the lines here. This is huge. Okay. He President Trump is exposing something major here. Okay. So let's let's go along here. You ready? All right. Okay, I asked my team to go and get these pictures of President Trump with all the foods and everything on the table and what he was talking about and talking about the the prices going up, the every the expenses of everything going up. Okay. Have my team getting that together. Um he gave our our awesome president went and gave a hundred year old lady his autograph. He told her she was beautiful. He's he's a good man. Okay, so President Trump live from bed, Mr. New Jersey. Breaking news. Former President Trump holds press conference. It's very interesting, the placement of this food. Okay. Now, President Trump is speaking here. He's speaking prophetically. He's speaking directly. And he, he wants us to really do our research. Okay. All right. He wants us to also bring into remembrance some things he's already said and already talked about. Okay. He's not just saying, oh, look at the price of these things and how much they've gone up. He's got strategic placement of these things. Now, the first strategic placement is the coffee, the coffee. Number one, the coffee represents time to wake up, right? The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. I used to drink Folgers all the time. I was like, so so toxic. <laughs> Thank God I don't drink that anymore. I drink clean coffee, but okay. So the Folgers represents time to wake up. President Trump is doing this as part of the, as the awakening. Maxwell coffee. Maxwell. Is that pointing to the child traffickers? Gislaine Maxwell. Hmm. Interesting. Because the same corrupt corporations, the same corrupt leaders, they're also involved in evil, wicked things, including child trafficking. Are some of these companies and their CEOs on the Jeffrey Epstein list? Yes. So he's speaking about wake up. Pay attention, Folgers, Gislaine Maxwell, child traffickers. He's also reminding us of the word coffee. Remember, coffee or coffee? Remember that word that he tweeted a while back? Coffee, coffee, right? It means, in the end, I win. Is he pointing to that right now? Interesting. Okay. 
post cereals, honey bunches of oats. The word giant, right? Going to take the giant down. We know that these cereal companies are in direct cahoots with Big Pharma. They're in direct cahoots with Roundup. Their cereals and their are are loaded with pesticides. Right? They're all in cahoots together. Jimmy Dean Sausage. Jimmy Dean Sausage is actually under the brand of Tyson Foods. So we know a lot's been going on with Tyson's Foods. They've been laying off their employees and instead hiring illegals. Old Jimmy Dean Sausage is pointing to uh, Tyson Foods and what they're doing with the illegals. I mean, he is speaking in volumes here, y'all. Okay, so the coffee, wake up with Folgers in your cup. Awakening, awakening. Maxwell House, right? Coffee Fay. These things are speaking to the exposure. He is bringing things out. Huge exposure happening. Come on. President Trump is exposing certain brands for certain bad things they are involved in. I know he likes to use visuals and props to send a message. Kofife, Kofife, yes, my team says. I saw some brands on the table, Jennifer says, that she knows they say are bad. She thought the same thing. He's exposing them. Yes, most of those brands are corrupt corporations or their products are now known to be very, very toxic and in cahoots with Big Pharma. Now, there's another thing the Lord revealed to me, but I'm going to tell you that in a minute. There's some Jimmy Dean, Fruit Loops, Wheaties, Cheerios. I see Heinz products to the left. Yep. Okay. Most of these brands are corrupt. Jimmy Dean has made it the plant that just laid off most of their employees and hired illegals. Interesting timing, since the Lord just told us Friday to go and pray at the smaller mom and pop meat producers and ranchers. Now, hear the word of the Lord. We had a prophetic word at the end of Friday's broadcast. And the Lord said, go and pray over the smaller mom and pop meat producers and ranchers. He said that the enemy is coming after them. And we have to go and pray on their land. We have to go and pray. Um, if they have like a little mom and pop store, a little mom and pop dairy, a little mom and pop food store, meat producers, you know, that we need to go and pray. We need to pray for them and pray for their protection and pray over the ranchers, pray over the cattle, pray over their land because the enemy is, is targeting them, okay? Here's the thing. Since we just got that word Friday to go and do that, and now President Trump bringing out these commercial meats, okay? What's going on here? A demonic plot is being exposed and thwarted. I'm going to say that again. A demo the demonic plot against our food is being exposed and thwarted. Hear the word of the Lord. This is good news. This is coming straight from the Holy Spirit. And he's telling me to tell you that the demonic plot that's been coming against our food and provision is being exposed and thwarted. It's being removed. It's being closed down. It's being stopped. This is part of the brilliant plan of God to President Trump in our prayers. And the Holy Spirit is leading all of us in this, telling us to buy local, to buy from the farm stands, to buy from the local ranchers. This is what we're being told to do. And don't say, oh, it's more expensive. God will give you the money. If you say, Father God, I want to eat more healthy. I want to start buying local. I want to start supporting my local ranchers, my local farmers, my local farm stands, my local farmer's market. God will provide you the finances to do it. I prayed that prayer and God has provided me the finances to do it. I'm getting all my meat down here from Miss Colifer and most of my vegetables. Because she started with a little strawberry farm. And then I prayed for her. Because she sowed the first seed into my ministry. This is all being done in the spirit. Well, we, 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 we take territory in the spirit. And then it will be done in the natural. You see? 
And God is doing this. And now you should see Miss Color for Swarm. It's huge. And she's doing everything she can to be no spray. She's not doing any sprays. She's almost there. She said it takes a couple years to get to where you can be completely organic. Because you have to be so many yards from the road. You have to be so many. The land has to heal for so long, right? But she's getting close. Now she's doing all grass-fed beef. So I'm getting my beef from her. Okay. And she's doing, she's doing specials. You know, so look for the local farmers in your region. Go to the farmer's market. Go to the local butcher. Uh, America in the world is going back to this. God is bringing us back to this. Watch and see. Interesting timing since the Lord told us to go and pray for the smaller mom and pop meat producers. She sees Gwaltney and there's four. four okay. So Jen Jennifer got some more pictures. Okay. And Trump is pointing out certain things. Okay. And it's, he's not just pointing out the prices of these things. He's revealing certain things to us. Okay. He's revealing certain things to us. Okay. You see how he's looking at these things and he almost like he's got a disgusted look on his face. Like, ew. Okay. I see the Smithfield brand is in there, the Jimmy Dean, the Gwaltney. Most of these brands are controlled by big corporations that are corrupt. Big pharma. They're all using poisons in their foods. This is more about the prices going up. This is about exposure. Now, what does Trump do? He gets people talking about it. How do we take the giant down, right? With exposure, getting people to talk about it. Now, people are talking about it. He is revealing these things. And I'm here to tell you something. Four means door. Fox four. Okay? Four means door. The key to the house of David, the key to the government is on Jesus Christ's shoulders. Whatever doors he shuts, no man can open. Whatever doors he opens, no man can shut. Now, I'm here to tell you something here. God is closing the evil doors coming against our food, and he's opening up new good doors. I'm going to say that again. God is closing the evil doors that have to do with our food and our provision. And he's bringing forth open, new, good doors. All right? You know what's going to be toast? See? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You know what's going to be toast? I'll tell you what's going to be toast. These evil, corrupt companies are toast. You're going to be see, see they're, they're all going to be exposed for knowingly, knowingly, knowingly putting toxins in our food, knowingly, knowingly being in cahoots with China, knowingly, knowingly. And, 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 you know, the worst part about it is being in partnership with Big Pharma. Now, let's talk about Fox News. Let's talk about uh, MSNBC, PBS, CNN. Who are their greatest advertisers? Big Pharma, okay? So Big Pharma are the biggest advertisers for these uh, fake news, okay? Now that we're finding out that Big Pharma is in cahoots directly with our food companies and with China, they're all traitors. They're all traitors. They're being caught as traitors. They're being caught as traitors. So I told you, the fox is in the trap a couple of years ago. And the fox is dead. So Trump said, I caught them. I caught them all. They've been caught being in cahoots with Big Pharma, with China, with all of these evil, not just corrupt things, but treasonous things. They're all going down for it. And the food industry is in direct cahoots with China and Big Pharma. They're all together in it. They're all in one big bed together. Bedminster, right? They're they're all in one big bed together. They're all one they're 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 all in one big demonic plot together. And you see Fox News and all of them, they will report what Big Pharma wants them to report. They'll report what the food industry wants them to report. Why? Because they're in bed with them. But it's over. Trump is bringing it to the forefront. 
He's exposing them. And now these stories have to come out. They have to tell the truth. They won't be able to stop it. Trump almost looks disgusted in this one. After finished speaking, he walks over and looks at the table. Many of those brands are made under Tyson Foods. Things are shaking up at Tyson majorly right now. Wow, look at the reports regarding Tyson. Now look at just look at the reports just in the last five days. Tyson Foods being investigated by the USDA. Purdue Farms, what's connected to Tyson. Metal contamination. Why do you think you have headaches? Why do you think you have chronic arthritis? Why do you think you have all these other problems? Heavy metals in your body. Your liver can't clean all this stuff, I'm telling you. They're all losing money because people are not buying from them. Target, we know that Target stores, they're involved demonically with a lot of things. Hires the Tyson Foods leaders to replace retiring lawhead. Oh, Chinese name, Amy Chu. Target corporate, corporate hired Amy Chu to be its new legal chief compliance officer. Why did she have to step down from Tyson? What's going on here? Hmm? Why does Target want her? Well, guess what? They're all in cahoots with each other. These reports are just in the last five hours. These big supermarkets, all in cahoots. Wow, just five days ago, Tyson Foods, huge layoff in NC. Trump was just in North Carolina. We were told to go back to North Carolina and pray over the state. I just had a call to action last week asking people to go down and pray over North Carolina, praying over Raleigh. Tyson to lay off hundreds of employees at the North Carolina plant. Trump wants these companies front and center. He's exposing their corruption. There's more with these brands. General Mills has had a lot of recent lawsuits, also claiming discrimination. Okay? They want to hire illegals. They're the, you, see, you see General Mills, Tyson Foods, they want to hire illegals. They want the border open. Why do they want the border open? They want to hire illegals. They don't want to hire black people. They don't want to hire white people. They want to hire illegals. Tyson hired illegals. Trump is exposing them. So these big corporations, they want to poison your foods. They want to hire illegals. They want the borders open. They want to keep using Roundup. Mm -hmm. They want to be connected to China. And guess what? They're totally in bed with Big Pharma. Trump is exposing them all. It's about to be over for them. It's about to get interesting. Remember, Trump is pushing out the companies that are run by glo globalists and focusing on America first companies. We know from our research that China and Bill Gates have their hands on our food and they need to get it out now. We've been praying and, of course, the Holy Spirit has been revealing on how toxic our foods are and what to stay away from. I do not buy hardly any of these brands anymore. I have prophetic words about our food. And then let's go back to the prophetic words I had about the food and what the God has already said. I had a word about Thanksgiving and how they were trying to take it away. They were trying to take away Thanksgiving from us. But God said he himself would fill our tables. Then I had the word about the Kentucky Der Derby, about the horse that won the Kentucky Derby that was from California. OK, uh, uh, and that was the family that wrote the Joy of Cooking cookbook and their vineyards. And the word about the homemade comfort foods coming back with Paula Dean. Right. I had the I had the dream about President Trump and his whole family, Paula Dean and Paula Dean said she didn't want anything to do with commercial endorsements anymore. She only wanted to cook at home and cook homemade food. And all the Trump women were there cooking homemade food. And it said the babies will breathe again. Baby's breath. These toxins are coming against our children. Oh, my goodness. Paula used to be the spokesperson on Smithfield Foods. They let her go when China bought them. <laughs> Come on. It's all connected. And that prophetic word of my dream, Paula Dean did not care about those companies anymore. She wanted nothing to do with them. Okay, prophetic word. Uh, 
Preakness horse, Medina spirit, run by our God is speaking joy. And in that word, the Lord moved me to tears when he said Rumbauer. The name Rumbauer represents the word joy and abundance again. The people that owned the horse Rumbauer that won the Preakness, their mother wrote the book, The Joy of Cooking, the, the cookbook, Cooking Meals from Scratch. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And he said, This is what will be in America again. And he said, my Proverbs 31.10 through 31 families are coming forth again. Moms cooking food from scratch. And then fathers and the dads honoring that. And it's we're going to have our, our beautiful comfort foods again. And we're going to be healthy. There's the Paula Jean word. Prophetic dream for America. What is coming for marriage, families, careers. Okay. And the Thanksgiving word. Here it is. And I spoke this word. I don't know what the date is of it, but I'll have to go back and speak it. Hear the word of the Lord. They will be done, O Lord. Your evil ones. Here, here's, what the, here's the, what the Lord said. Hear the word of the Lord. You evil ones who have sat at your buffet tables, try to give sloppy seconds to my people. You are the ones that will have the slop, says the Lord. My people shall have the delicacies. My people shall be honored. Their homes will shall be filled with blessings. Those who have honored me, says the Lord, those shall be honored. You try to steal their thanksgiving? Ha! No, I will give them the double portion. They will still give thanks to me. You, all oh, you evil ones, will not stop the voices of my people giving me thanks, and I will bless them. So that is a prophetic word that was spoken to me by the Spirit of God. And I said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. The Lord is angry about Thanksgiving and what they're trying to do. He sang, but he knows his people will give, still give him thanks. He will bless your tables. He says, do not fear. He will bless your tables. He will bless your tables. Thank you, God. I now feel the Father's heart right now. Oh, the anointing is coming back on me again. <laughs> Woo! He is. He is coming for those who have hurt his children. Hear the word of the Lord. This word was given. Jennifer, do you have a date on that word? Oh, what's the convergence word? Oh, oh. Wow. That was in 2021. Hear the word of the Lord. He, the Lord, is coming for those who have hurt his children. Those who would try to take the food out of his children's mouth or try to feed his children sloppy seconds. He keeps saying sloppy seconds. Who do you think they are? Mm. It was a convergence word. Do you all remember that convergence word that I had on November 8th, 2021? I was literally birthing that prophetic word. It was knitted in me. And it was literally, it was, we had taken communion on a Friday. It was when I first moved into this office and this word came forth. It was incredible what God said. He said, angelic help is coming from all directions. And there are things that are going to be converging. And anybody who has hurt his children, they're the ones that are going to get hurt. You need to go back to that word. But I, I spoke that and prophesied so much came out of that word. You know, it's interesting that last night I had a prophetic dream. And in this prophetic dream, um, I saw these two great big huge turkeys and they were two big great big huge giant thanksgiving turkeys in the stream and i forgot about this thanksgiving word and in this dream these two huge thanksgiving turkeys and they were being uh they were being cooked like on an open fire like um you know you know how like people like to take a turkey and uh put it like in a big pot and then they put, uh, put it on a fire and then they put coals. It was like the turkey was in a great big pot and it was, it was being cooked on an open fire. And it was two, there were two fires, two open fires. And they each had a, a you know, a big pot on the fire. And there was a two, the biggest turkeys you ever saw. There was like 20 pound Thanksgiving turkeys. And then they're putting the pot on the fire and then they were putting the coals on the turkeys and they were cooking the turkeys. And um, it was like, get ready. You're going to have the, the most delicious turkey you ever ate. You know, and it's being 
cooked on an open fire. And it reminded me of something I just saw with Ballerina Farm. And um, let me just come up here here. So I follow uh, Ballerina Farm and um, this woman who is a Proverbs 3110 through 31 woman who God said was coming. God said he crowned this woman himself. He crowned her. Um, her name is Hannah Nealman. And the Lord said to me, he crowned her. And she is going to lead the women back to the home. She's going to lead the women back to his prophecy. Proverbs 31, 10 through 31 is a prophecy from God and who he says his daughters are. They're, they're, they're women of virtue, women of valor, women of honor, women who they have home businesses. Uh, they're blessed. Their children are blessed. Their husband calls them blessed. So he's been showing me this woman, Hannah Nealman, and she was crowned Mrs. America. And this week, she's going to crown the new Mrs. America. It's been a year. And she's got eight children. Well, the Lord said to me, he himself has crowned her. She's going to help bring this Proverbs 31, 10 through 31 prophecy back to families, back to daughters. Um, you know, they raise their own vegetables, their own everything, their own meat. And um, a couple of weeks ago, she had a special guest at her home. And it was this woman who was an also a, who's also a Proverbs 31, 10 woman. And this woman is from Australia or New Zealand. And what this woman does, and I'm trying to think of what her name is. She came to Hannah's farm and she bakes, makes everything on an outside fire. Everything. She doesn't use any stove or any oven. She cooks the vegetables, the meat, the, the cornbread. Everything is done in black cast iron pans. Everything's done on an open fire, and it is amazing. And this woman is a chef, and what she does, her and her husband, they go around and they put, they cater these events. And the whole entire event, every bit of the food is made on a fire, on, a, on the fire. And so Hannah Neilman had her come to her house and, you know, they're both Instagrammers and they're linking each other's pages and stuff. And, um, the whole entire meal, the vegetables, everything was made on the fire and, um, the fresh farm meats, you know, they they don't, they raise beef there. They raise beef and lamb. They raise uh, chickens and eggs and they don't use any chemicals, no antibiotics or anything. You know, they don't use, any anything um all the food is completely organic grass fed all of that they do feed their animals some grain but they don't use gmo uh stuff they're very careful what they feed their animals and now they're they opened up a dairy and they're um they're doing um unpasteurized milk right real whole milk you see we're meant to have these things we're meant to go back to these things and our bodies are going to heal our bodies are going to heal. And God is pointing to us to coming back to these things, having a garden, raising our own beef, raising our own milk. And if not, you know, going and supporting the local farmers. Now, many of you heard, have heard me talk about uh, Hannah Nealman and God is using her and he has crowned her and he's raising her up for this time and to keep her in prayer. Um, and, you know, yes, she's a Mormon, but let me tell you something. Like I said at the beginning of this broadcast, Jesus is dealing with all the denominations. She's a Christian. She's a believer in Jesus Christ. She's even talked about Jesus and talked about God on her her, her videos. And um, she definitely has the father's heart, you know, and the mother's heart, mother, father's heart. But I got to tell you, um, God is dealing with all the denominations. He's he's calling people out of the Mormon church. He's calling them out of the Catholic church. But he is he using those who he's looking at their heart? You see. That says the eyes of the Lord look to and fro throughout the whole earth, looking for who will agree with him. And the Neilmans are agreeing with him in what he wants to do right now, in the timing that he has, bringing forth the Proverbs 31, 10 through 31 families. That is a prophecy of God, who he says his families are. You see, feminism is a demonic spirit. It's rooted in the Jezebel spirit.
But the Proverbs 31, 10 through 31, woman, a woman of honor, a woman of virtue, woman of valor, a woman who fears the Lord. Her, her, her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. She has no fear of the future. She, she's, up, she's up late at night working on her business, but she's also up early in the morning getting her foods prepared for her family. Her candle does not go out at night. Her, 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 her home business is prospering. Her husband is an honored man. Her children are, are blessed. And you see, this is the prophecy that God has for his daughters in these days. And that's who we are to be. And God is exposing all these evil things. You see these convenient foods, these processed foods, goes hand in hand with the Jezebel spirit. I'm going to say that again. Big Pharma. The processed foods, the convenience foods goes hand in hand with the Jezebel spirit. It's all rooted in the Jezebel spirit. What is the Jezebel spirit cause? The Jezebel spirit causes feminism, man haters, women that are power hungry that want to go up the corporate ladder, women that don't want to be at home and taking care of their children and or even having children that is rooted in a Jezebel spirit. Feminism is an evil demonic plot over this nation. And who is partnered with a Jezebel spirit? The fake news, the false prophets of Baal. Jezebel had a bunch of false prophets. And she told them what to say every day so the jezebel spirit jesus said the jezebel spirit will come on the earth in these last days but we would defeat her we would defeat her us the people of faith would defeat her so the lord told us to say jezebel is roadkill because that's what happened to jezebel she became roadkill but there was an evil spirit connected to her that the evil ones were trying to conjure up again through feminism, through big pharma. So this is all rooted in the Jezebel spirit. Feminism, big pharma. Why? Because Jezebel and her husband Ahab coveted the farmer's land and stole it. Bill Gates, sound familiar? So Bill Gates, Big Pharma, uh, foreign governments, because Jezebel was from a foreign land. She was a Phoenician. She wasn't even a Jew. Uh, Poison in our food, fake news. False prophets of Baal. It's all rooted in the Jezebel spirit. All of it. So we know where the root is. So what do we cast down? The Jezebel spirit. And we say, Father God, we are rising up as Elijah's, like John the Baptist. Come on. President Trump. Bold voices that are exposing Jezebel and her evil, that are exposing the false prophets of Baal. Their demonic system is being destroyed. It is roadkill. Stop your feet right now and say, Jezebel is roadkill. Feminism is dead. God is our treasure. Almighty God. God is our provider. We are children of God, therefore. He is the one who feeds us. And he brings us to the good land. And gives us safe pasture. Psalm 37. Come on. So Trump is taking down the Jezebel spirit at the root 
And we've got to wake up to it. Big pharma will be destroyed. The toxic food industry will be destroyed. All the evil things that they do will be destroyed. They will not be able to hire illegal aliens. Uh Uh-uh. That's gone. That's done. The moms and the dads are going and buying from local farmers and taking back the land. Do you realize that if you are in covenant with God through Jesus Christ, everybody who's ever been in covenant with God gets land. The land is our portion. Do not give up the land. Go up and possess your land. Desire to have a couple of acres. It belongs to you. It's your inheritance from God. It's your portion. We don't covet other people's land. No, we're not like Jezebel where we're like, we're just going to take it. You know, no. We say, Father God, what land have you given to us? What land have you given to us? Show us where our land is. We're going to go up and possess it. God has shown me many, many areas around here where he has said, that's going to be your land. Now go and pray over it and claim it for my plans and purposes. You see, the way we do it is we don't just say, hey, look, that farmer has a nice land. That should should be mine. No, that's coveting. We don't do that. That's what Jezebel did. Uh Uh-uh. We say, Lord, where is the land that you have ordained for me, that you have set aside for me? Show me where it is, and I will go and I will pray over it, and I will dedicate it to you for your plans and purposes. And if this is the land you're giving me, I receive it. That's how we go and pray. You see, go to God first like Joshua of Moses did. And God said, go up and possess the land. I've given it to you. I will be there all the way. Go up and claim it. I teach you how to do that. Big difference. We've got to want the land again. It's our portion. We've got to want to nurture and steward the land again. We've got to pray over our daughters and our sons that they will be Proverbs 31, 10 through 31 families. And do this boldly. And the move of the Holy Spirit is on the earth doing this. You get on on Instagram, and I mean, you see all of these women now, young women and their husbands. They're going and buying land. They're doing their own farms. They're becoming, right, self-sustaining. They're homeschooling their children. You know why? Because the demonic big pharma, who's in the same root of Jezebel, brought what? A pandemic. So they could sell their jabs. But it backfired on big pharma. You see, every time it will backfire on Jezebel. It was the Jezebel spirit in cahoots with the fake news in cahoots with Big Pharma, trying to bring that C-19, right, and and shut us down. And what happened? It backfired right on Jezebel. It backfired right on the feminists. It backfired right on Big Pharma. It backfired right on the fake news. Because what did it do? It caused the moms and the dads to say, wait a minute. It's better for us to homeschool our kids. Wait a minute. It's better for us to grow our own food. And what happened? It just opened up more of the great awakening. Everything the enemy has meant for evil is backfiring right on the enemy. And Trump is exposing all this so we will start to think for ourselves. This is what Trump is so good at. He exposes it. He brings it front and center. You got to kind of read between the lines with him, right? We know that behind the scenes, he's dealing with it with a good military And the U.S. Marshals, right? We know that it's being dealt with. But we also have to change our mindset. We also have to say, we're not buying into that poison anymore. We're not buying into that stuff anymore. He wants us to also to think for ourselves, you see? And the Elijah spirit and the John the Baptist spirit is on the earth. And we're rising up as mama bears with our voices. 
We're saying our kids will not eat this poison anymore. We will not send them to these schools with this evil agenda anymore. But what we're doing is we got to get to the root. It's all rooted in the Jezebel spirit. And we say Jezebel is roadkill. We break the power of the Jezebel spirit off of us, off of America, off of our families right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we claim the Elijah spirit. We claim the spirit of John the Baptist. And we claim right now that Jezebel is roadkill, that Jehu is running over her right now. And we claim the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ upon us, upon our households, upon our children, upon our land, upon our foods right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm actually drinking my water, my very fresh uh, water. That I only drink um, water from, um, I drink the Fiji water because it cleanses the aluminum out of the body and it has silicate in it, which helps build up the body. Okay. And I also drink, um, what is it? It's called crystal. Then it's from um, a spring. I only drink spring water. That's it, spring water. And then I put lemons and lemon juice. Now, I was running out of lemons, so I went to my handy Vitacost. Uh, and you can see all my detoxing things that I get from Vitacost and my detoxing supplements. I buy, I buy as much food and vegetables and fruits from local farmers and organic from local farmers. And like my, some of my things that I can't get around here, my supplements and stuff, I do order. Um, I was running out of lemons. And so what I did is fresh lemon is best in your lemon water to cleanse your liver and keep you cleansed every day. But I found some fresh squeezed lemon juice organic and it tastes like real lemons. It's not from the concentrate. I found it on Vitacost and I'll add that to my Vitacost list. It's, it tastes like real fresh lemons. And I'm cleansing my liver. Okay. If I do drink coffee, I only drink clean, organic, non-toxic coffee that's been tested for mold and tested for my mitotoxins. You see, the Jezebel spirit is running uh, Starbucks. They even have a demonic, uh, a, a de an evil demon queen, water demonic marine spirit on their logo. And Starbucks is like the worst testing for mold and toxins. Don't drink that stuff. Make a cup of coffee at home. Get your coffee from a company that is tested for mold and mitotoxins. I, I drink Life Boost. I've limited my coffee to like once or twice a week. And um, yeah, so if you want to know how to detox the stuff out of yourself and out of your children and uh, get healed, and what foods to eat, what foods not to eat. This is, this is my fasting and detoxing plan that was given to me directly from the Holy Spirit. And I encourage you to look into it. And don't make it about money. Your Father God will provide for you. That is free. I give that to you free. Just start out with some of it, okay? And see how much better you'll feel. Start going to functional medicine doctors instead of big pharma doctors. Look, if I cut my finger and I need stitches, I'm going to go to a hospital to get stitches. But for the rest of my health needs, I'm going to go to my functional medicine practitioner who happens to be a Christian. And she teaches all this stuff too. And you should check her out. Ashley Grouch. Functional medicine practitioner. She teaches you how to detox. She can even get you tested for those things. She can get you tested for any toxins that are in your body. She can get you tested for how much heavy metals are in your body. She can get your liver enzymes tested. She can also have you tested for um, uh, parasites. Most of us have parasites. As of the 1940s, we used to... Cleanse for parasites. Why don't we do that anymore?
So I highly recommend Ashley Grouch, The Farm Life. Uh, and she, you can get an appointment with her. You can get an online appointment with her. She can uh, put the paperwork in for your blood work to get you tested. And, you know, see how toxic you are. And then she'll put you on a protocol and get you on the foods. And I'm telling you, your anxiety will melt away. You're going to sleep better. You're going to feel better. Your autoimmune issues are going to get healed. All my eczema was healed. Amazing. Toxin is causing all that? Yes. So check out Dr. Ashley Grouch, functional medicine, thefarmlife.com. She also sells a lot of things with that that you can get from her. She she has a little store if you're in Virginia Beach. She sells uh, unpasteurized milk as well. The coffee that I drink is Life Boost Coffee. It's been tested for mold and mitotoxins. Do you know that the mold in coffee? The, this is what I did. Okay. So I was drinking regular coffee. I had I had gone on the detox with no coffee whatsoever. Went on the detox with no coffee whatsoever. I was sleeping better and I noticed something very different. I said, my anxiety is gone. And I'm not getting intrusive thoughts. Like on the days that I would drink coffee, I would get intrusive thoughts. You know, fearful thoughts. I would get fearful thoughts, intrusive thoughts. And I would have to say, okay, I put on the helmet of salvation. I command that thought to come under the obedience of Jesus Christ. I was doing it all day. And I started to put two and two together. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The days that I drank just normal coffee, regular coffee, I was getting Intrusive thoughts, fearful thoughts. I stopped drinking coffee. Fearful, intrusive thoughts were gone. I was like, what is that? So I decided to get a coffee that was organic, toxin-free, mold-free. And I'm like, is it the coffee or is it the toxins? I started drinking the Life Boost coffee, toxin-free, mold-free, had a cup of coffee, tastes great. No intrusive thoughts, no fearful or intrusive thoughts. I was like, it's the toxins and the mold in your coffee and in also dried foods like peanut butter that are causing those Intrusive, fearful, toxic thoughts. Why? Number one, it's a carcinogen. And number two, mold is works like a psychedelic drug. I'm going to say that again. Mold in food can work like a psychedelic drug. It can get into your blood-brain barrier and cause these crazy, intrusive, thoughts. You stop the peanut butter, you stop the coffee. Like I'm talking about, you know, something like if you're going to get peanut butter, make sure it's peanut butter that's been tested. It's organic. That has been tested for mold and mitotoxins. If you're going to get coffee, get coffee that's been tested for mold and mitotoxins. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. Uh, David just asked me, are we starting the 21 day fast September 1st? Oh no, Jennifer just asked me. Uh, yes, we are going to be doing the 21 day fast and detox again together on September 1st. Everybody, if you want to join me. Okay. So I was going to start announcing that today's August 19th. So yes, this is a good time to announce it. If you want to do the 21 day fast and detox with me. Um, and get on that with me and do it with me. I'll be starting it September 1st. Um, I might not do September 1st. I might wait to the 3rd because um, Labor Day weekend. 
So let me look at my calendar. I'll put out an official, I'll put out an official um confirmation on that. Okay. Many of you who have done the 21 day fast and detox with me, you feel so much better. And it has the prayers to go with it. It is an eating fast. We do eat certain foods. We do take certain supplements and we do certain prayers together. The Holy Spirit did give me this and um, it's very, very powerful. I do it three times a year. I do it in January. I do it again in June and I do it again in September and we can take it uh, together. If you want to take a look at it, it's free, completely free. Um, if you need to know what supplies you need to get and all, everything like that, go to my site, annamariestrohan.com, learn all about it, get the shopping list, uh, get my body cost list and all that good stuff. I don't think I'm going to start it on the first. I'm going to start it on, let's see, Labor Day is the third. Uh, we can start it on Wednesday the fourth. Okay. So let's do it Wednesday the 4th of September. Uh, team, can you make a note of that, that we will start the 21-day fast and detox together on Wednesday, September. Oops, hang on. Wednesday, September 4th. That way we can get through Labor Day weekend and all your cookouts and all that stuff. You know, your kids are all getting ready to get back to school and all that fun stuff. You know, if you homeschool, that's fine. That's good. We encourage homeschooling. Um, but um, I, I encourage you all to go to my site and um, get the 21-Day Fast and Detox. I do have it as a book here, God with Clarity, 21-Day Fast and Detox. Are these toxins and these molds and all these things in your body keeping you from hearing God clearly? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you can get the printed book if you want, or you can go and get the one that I have for free on my site with everything, the foods, the menus, the prayers, the detox protocol, uh, the links and the, the studies and everything like that. I do have that available on my site at annamariestrawhand.com, all right? And I encourage you, um, if you go to my site, we have a lot of products that we recommend where me and my team have gone and look, we've looked at the ingredients, we've checked everything. Um, and these are things that I eat, okay? Um, these are things that I've deeply researched. And I think that you will be um so blessed to do that you could you could do this as a whole family all right so uh we'll just make a note of that that on september 4th uh we will start the 21 day fast and detox okay and just remember god is dealing with our foods right now he is dealing with our foods uh president trump and the good guys the good military he's dealing with our foods he's dealing with big pharma he's dealing with all these things okay uh, he's dealing with the toxins and the poisons. He's awakening of the people uh, so that we will start to do our own research. President Trump is doing everything he can to get this front and center to you, but you must do your part. We must do our research and we must stop buying these toxic foods. Well, see, I, I know marketing. I've been involved in marketing for years. I was a, a marketing uh, expert in NASCAR racing for years and years and years and a coach and a mentor. I know how these corporate types think. I've sat in their boardrooms, okay? I know how they think. Like Monster Energy Drink is, is a toxin-loaded drink. Nobody should drink Monster Energy Drink. But why do they want to market a NASCAR? Because they want to market their drink to young men. What is Monster Energy that's a toxin-loaded drink want to market a NASCAR? Because they want to market target market to young men so they can load them up with toxins heavy metals and make and, and they're loaded with uh caffeine and mm -mm. i told my son-in-law to stop drinking that stuff and i showed him the ingredients and i said detox from that stuff it's a demonic it's a demonic plot but you see these companies if you don't buy their product if you don't play into their marketing tactics, they're going to go bankrupt. 
So don't buy it. And don't say, oh, you know, don't say you can't afford to buy organic. Go to your father. Say, father, God, I want to eat healthy. I want my family to eat healthy. You are my provider. You are my treasure. My job is not my provider. The governor is not my provider. You are my provider, God. You are my treasure, and you will provide everything I need to eat healthy. You provide my seed, Lord, if I want to grow a garden. Go to your father. He'll provide it for you. Thank you, God. We praise you. Thank you, Father God, that you are taking down these toxic companies. Thank you, God, you are destroying the Jezebel spirit right now. Thank you, Father God, for helping us with through President Trump and it, it, the pe good people you have working around him. Thank you, Father God, that we know how to pray now. You're giving us strategies to pray. And Father God, thank you that you are destroying all of these evil, corrupt companies and all these evil, corrupt businesses and bringing us back to being the Proverbs 31, 10 through 31 families and Jezebel is roadkill. Thank you, Father God. And we've got to think for ourselves and we've got to say, Lord, what are you doing right now? What are you saying? We, we got to be, we got to be, uh, go to God and we got to say, Father God, show us the end thing, the secret thing. President Trump is trying to get us to think for ourselves. He's trying to get us to do our research. The Holy Spirit is the revelator. He's partnered with the Holy Spirit. He's going to reveal these things to you and talk to your kids about it. Say, so, hey, instead of buying the real junky crappy cookies, let's make our own homemade cookies today. You see, because Jezebel is roadkill and mama is back in the kitchen and so is daddy and so is the children. And he's bringing the families back together and it's good. And it doesn't mean the women have to be barefoot and pregnant all the time. We can have our own businesses. Make cookies for your children and then have a business of selling cookies. God wants to bless you that way. It's called a kingdom business. And all of heaven is cheering us on. Hallelujah.